Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 13, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our online courses, and also our, our online trades. The link is down below. Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 13, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis. Uh, the link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound US dollar. And as you can see, we are up 0.39 percent at this current stage we ran into resistance just above underneath the 20 exponential moving average you can see here we that we basically hit the bottom of the uh, bollinger band and then hit the middle of the bollinger band and then we got basically rejected there other technical indicators there are all in negative territory macd is bearish rsi is flat the cci is bearish as the casting is still in the bearish territory but it is turning around so it looks like we are basically trending within this channel here and at this current stage we're basically in a downtrend so we are rallying up towards this channel breaking down and so on and that basically kind of looks like where this is going at this current stage so we need to basically break above the 50 moving garage in order to go and retest these previous highs otherwise we are most likely going to get rejected here and fall back towards the 150 moving average and then continue downwards so it kind of depends also on what happens on the us dollar uh, whether or not it depreciated or uh, appreciates um, further into the future otherwise we are still uh, this is not looking really good for uh, this currency pair as we got rejected at the 20 exponential so break down from here we could head towards the 150 moving average or break above um, the 20 and the 40 we could head towards the 50 moving average of give or take 13.87 so let's look at the us dollar japanese yen the same thing here we have broken uh, underneath that 20 exponential trading at 109.424 at this current stage technical indicators are very bearish for this currency pair at this point macd is still in positive territory but underneath the signal line rsc rsi is in a uh, in bearish momentum the same is for the cci and so is also the stochastic it is in negative territory but it is turning around at this current stage so we need to break above the 20 exponential in order to go back towards these previous highs at 111 break below here we'll open the door to the 40 and then the 50 and then probably all the way down to the 100 but we are far away from that at this point so 20 exponential is kind of holding at this current stage it doesn't really know it, it it kind of also depends on the us dollar whether or not it starts depreciating or uh, appreciating uh, further on but uh, let's look at the us dollar euro us dollar also here we found support at the 300 moving average down at the 1171 rallied up towards the 40 exponential moving average and then just hit a brick wall here this is very close to the top of the bollinger band we have the 50 moving average just above that should also offer quite a lot of resistance Technical indicators, they are, well, MACD is in negative territory, but it has crossed the signal line a long time ago and heading towards positive territory. Uh, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So there's a lot of resistance above here. We could actually turn around and head towards the 300 moving average. That would be a drop of give or take at 1.37%. Uh, and basically, we would get fairly close to the bottom of the bullish band. We have basically been in a downtrend uh, for the last few months, basically on the entire of 2021. And we hit major support down here at the you know, 300 moving average. We have a... Um, uh, fairly nice rally here but we are getting rejected at the 40 exponential and usually when that is the case we it usually turns around and heads back towards support so aussie dollar us dollar we can see that nothing is really happening here you know that the 150 moving average is down here at the 0 0.75 400 uh, 08 sorry uh, is basically our support 
and uh, we are running into resistance at the 20 exponential. So nothing really is happening in this currency pair at this current stage. Technical indicators are also fairly flat. It's only stochastic that is significantly uh, bearish at this point. Um, so we need to basically break above these um, uh, moving averages in order to go higher. Break below the 150 opens the door to the 200 and 0 0.74. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, same thing here. We are just basically trading flat um, just at underneath the 20 exponential moving average. We're rallying a little bit today, 0 0.08 uh, we're at. And uh, yes, there's nothing really we can say about this. Uh, break above the 50 moving average could open the door to the 100 at the 12.68. Uh, break below these previous um, um, candlesticks that could open the door to the very lows here of uh, give or take 12.37. Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this uh, current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.